how to use inflow inventory hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use inflow inventory and how you can use it to manage and track your inventory so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm over here onto their main website inflowinventory.com and as you can see this is how the website looks like so over here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and quickly sign up and use their free trial so there is a pricing plan however so let me just show you we have three pricing plans we have the entrepreneur the small business and the mid-size right so as you can see over here we have three plans we have the entrepreneur the small business and the mid-size so in the entrepreneur you get two team members one location no sub location 100 sales orders per month and two integrations unlimited supports and two hours setup assistance and then you have optional smart scanner as well this is for somewhere around i would say 78 or 79 dollars let's see yeah so that's 59 52 dollars and then we have the most popular one that is around 220 dollars and then we have the mid-size which is around 441 dollars so these are the prices 79 220 and 441 so those are the prices of these plans and over here as you can see these are all the features and benefits of having these plans so in the small one you get five team members instead of two unlimited inventory locations instead of one 2000 sales orders per month instead of 100 three integrations instead of two and unlimited support and two hour setup assistant you also get user access right and showroom as well so you can choose whichever plan you want and you should be good to go then you have some additional options over here as you can see for the enterprise but yeah so this was annually you can if you switch it to monthly then the prices will be increased if you switch it to annually you will say 20 percent so now let's go ahead and sign up with the free trial and start using inflow over here just enter in your email address i'm going to be using a temporary email address i'm going to put in the email and just simply click on the continue button okay so once you have done that all you have to do is then just uh, enter in your first name your password and your phone number and then you can sign up so i'm going to go ahead and fill out this form catch you guys in a second and once you have done that over here they're going to ask you some questions so that you know they can get started so which of these best describes you so over here business owner inventory or operation finance operations consultant consultant you know just looking to, to learn about more about inflow so i'm going to choose that and then select the use case that best fits your business wholesale or distributor e-commerce manufacturing and assembly construction or job site retail office supplies or internal uh, inventory or others i'm going to choose others and over here you can add whatever you want right so since it is e-commerce i'm going to choose e-commerce yeah and then click on continue and over here you know one moment please just simply wait for a couple of seconds and you should be good to go all right and then this is how it's going to look like so over here you have purchasing inventory and sales this is basically some of the demo data that they've given us but yeah so over here you will see purchasing then you have inventory then you have sales so new purchase quote new purchase order purchase order release new products and all of that and then they move on to the sales and then scroll down below you can see you can download the inflow for windows for ios android as well and then you have your reports right so and then over here onto the left side you have your menu you click on it it'll pop up right here and as you can see home page so this is like the sample data over here but mainly then you have your sales purchasing and inventory so clicking on each of these options you can go ahead and add your options so for inventory let's say you want to add new products so click on that button and it will say add the product name so we'll just say black dress and over here stock product most common physical object whose quantity should be tracked or non-stocked or serialized product or service right it all depends on what type of product that you have then you just simply click on create and then it's going to take you over here onto the product section where you can go ahead and add it so on the left side you will see all of the products so you will see you have some sunglasses you will see you have some you know you have your own product and some other products that are like pre-made so it's pretty simple all right so as you can see over here 
once it's loaded up this is how it looks like then you can go ahead and add your details within it so just simply click over here add the image you want to upload and then you can add the sku number and and then you can add the description of it right like what type of product it is so it's a so it's a black dress perfect for parties and then you have price and cost and over here you can add in the retail price so we'll just say 50 dollars and the wholesale price can be anywhere like maybe 30 dollars yeah and then down below you have your unit of measurements and stuff like that then you have your remarks and boom then just simply click on the save button and it will be saved so this way you can go ahead and track it so the total cost of it should be over here so over here the total cost would be including the shipment uh let's say maybe like 60 dollars yeah and then just save so pretty simple nothing too crazy that's how you do it same way you can add more products and add them as well like for example if we look at this product right here this glasses and you can see uh they have set the category right the sku number the barcode number and the retail price as well so over here as you can see cost wholesale and retail i actually did it backwards i should always yeah i think i yeah see 60 dollars is the cost and i'm selling it for 50 i'm gonna get i'm gonna go bankrupt so yeah let's go with 25 yeah 25 dollars is the cost for this one although 25 dollars for making a glass is is a lot but anyway this is how it looks like then you're good to go so of course you have your products right then you have your inventory then you have your purchasing option so over here new purchase quote new purchase order purchase list order list right so if you click over here create purchase quote you can search for your products over here alphabetic glasses you know four threes far sears uh let's go with this one click on that let's see these um you know sample data so of course these are all sample data you don't have to you can add all of these later on but yeah this is how it looks like so over here you will see these are your orders numbers over here so if you click on this number you can see that this is the quote number right this is the quote order and it's currently unfulfilled so probably it's still in shipment and over here we can see what type of product it is and how many quantities so two cases and over here down below we have all of the data non-vendor cost due date and all of that and balances cad 22 so you can go ahead and pay it and fulfill it and just simply click on pay and it should be completed pretty simple right and then we have other ones as well like this one this is fulfilled so over here so uh, it's been paid so we're good to go so pretty simple nothing too crazy a lot of stuff are happening over here then you also have your sales quote as well so new sales quote you click over here and you will see the sales quote for each of the customers so you have and casa caxa or casca you click on and casca and you will see all of the ordered status that she has all of the products that she's you know sending so this one over here if we click over here then you will see that this is assigned to thomas or thomas and his uninvoiced is 95 dollars and you will see the customer is sarah l brian contact sarah phone number email billing address shipping address everything is over here like pretty detailed so it's a pretty amazing uh you know stuff so as you can see these were all these you know say uh, like you know sample data but if you just simply click over here switch to your country you know switch to your company sorry then it's going to take you over here so first let's go ahead and check our mail so we have our mail over here let's go ahead and verify our id verify our email address we click on verify it's going to be verified yep here we go so this is our data i believe let's go ahead and check out the sales quote so as you can see we can add new customer over here and check him out right so we're switching it to your company right now so let's just wait for a couple of seconds and we should be good to go all right so this is how it looks like over here is going to be let's see i believe we're, we're going to be empty either way so as you can see we have nothing so we can just simply click over here to add a customer you know sarah is the customer we'll click on enter and click on create to create the customer and then we can add in their orders and stuff like that so as you can see customer assigned to over here we can assign it to different um, team members over here and we can add their 
orders and stuff like that. So over here, if we they what they want, right? We can add the product and they with the SKU number, and then we can add them. It's pretty simple and it's really really cool. So pretty simple. That is it. That is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below, and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.